What's up guys, it's SRC bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 video and today we're going to talk about the new map Liberation which is one of the most unique maps in Modern Warfare 3 because it's so wide open and really has long long lines of sights, lots of trees and it uh, plays a lot different than any other map that we've had so far. And so let me know what you guys think about this If you, for those of you that have it and have played it. I actually uh, just got a few games in on it last night and so just kind of took the first look at it and uh, my initial impressions are that it's, you know, uh, pretty fun I guess. It's definitely a different play style. You're certainly not going to want to run around with your rushing class rocking, you know, the PP90 and just trying to run around and rush into enemy spawns. It doesn't play that way and for some people I think they're really going to like that and I think for other people they're really going to not like it at all. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. And so what I want to do with this video, I actually attempted sniping here for the first time. So this is my first <laughs> attempt at sniping on this map. Uh, if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I am not a good sniper at all. I don't claim to be a good sniper. And I give a lot of respect to the people that can quick scope and snipe really quickly and accurately. Uh, that's really not my play style, but on this map I just wanted to give it a try. Uh, because I wasn't having a lot of success with an assault rifle early on in the first couple of matches. And so I decided to give this a quick try here. And my biggest complaint with sniping are the hit markers. Uh, and you'll see most of the ma major fails that I have in this game are because I get a hit marker and then it just throws me off my game completely. I end up trying to hard scope or I end up getting shot and it throws my, my next attempt off. And with me, it's just kind of, I, I probably have one good shot in me at somebody, and if I make it, they're dead, and if I don't, then I'm probably dead. But you'll see in this game, I think there's some pretty good, some good gameplay, and some really bad fail gameplay, so it's kind of a mixture of both, I guess. Uh, I don't ever claim to be a great sniper. Uh, but one thing I did learn early on on this map is that sometimes you'll run into other snipers in really close quarters. So you'll be coming around a corner trying to sneak around, and the other team's sniper will be doing the same thing, and you'll run around a, a corner or crawl around a corner, and you'll be within a couple feet of a sniper. And what I found is instead of trying to quick scope or no scope, the best thing to do is just kind of strafe and just run in for the knife right away. Uh, because, you know, I'm not going to win very many battles at all trying to quick scope or no scope somebody within two or three feet. And other people, hey, they're, they're really good at it. They're you know that's probably better for them but for me I just need to run and get the knife and try and and win the battle that way and it seemed to work out pretty well in the few instances that I've, I've had with that and so with this map I'm like I said brand new to it don't know the map very well and you'll see here this is really funny so I'm just kinda hanging out here I see this guy and I didn't change my button layout so I'm still playing tactical so I end up drop shotting while I'm shooting now I know there's a guy behind that those sandbags and then watching the kill cam, he sneaks out and snipes me. Now, I was watching, scoped in on that, and I watched it in the replay, and you cannot see anybody stick their head around the corner at all from my vantage point. So that kind of sucks, but then I come back and get him back again. And so with this map, there's definitely certain traffic patterns that seem to be pretty common. This is one of them right here. That ravine that goes kind of along the middle of the map, that goes underneath the B bridge all the way back to the bridge back by C on the far side of the map. And then there's, a, I guess, a bunker entrance in the, or a sewer entrance in that tunnel below. That entire ravine area is a really high traffic spot. And so you want to be aware of that, I guess. It's, you probably don't want to run in there with a sniper rifle too often unless you're just an amazing quick scoper. But you'll find the people that have the assault rifles, the SMGs, the morons that play a shotgun are all going to kind of stick to that ravine area that that's goes really I think it goes pretty much from A to C along that side of the map but the B bridge is probably one of the highest traffic areas especially on domination and you can see here I found a pretty good vantage point back on the side of the map here where I just have this little crack to to look through and what my strategy is on kill confirmed while I'm playing a sniper is to try and guard the dog tags and let the other people know where they are so that they can get them because I'm not going to run up there all the way out in the open, run up to the B bridge with the sniper rifle uh, because I'm probably going to get picked off before I even get there. But most of the time there's somebody on my team that's in the vicinity 
And so you know, that would work out the best is really to coordinate on something like this if you're going to be sniping. And you can see we win the game. A lot of times I'll, be, I'll take a few guys down and then I'll just sit there kind of scoped in on the area just trying to make sure that we have that map control so that somebody can grab those dog tags. And sometimes I do run out there. And one other thing that I noticed on this map that I didn't really think was going to be the case from watching other videos is the trees in this map are a huge, huge pain for air support both ways. Because here, you see I take that shot. I'm assuming I hit the tree, which is why I didn't get any hits on it. And then here I thought I had an even better shot on it, but it looks like it probably hits the tree again because I actually don't kill any of those choppers with my stinger. And on the flip side of that, uh, one of my other gameplays, I got uh, the Reaper. And first of all, on this game, almost everyone's running Assassin. Almost everyone is running Blind Eye. And so I don't think air support oh, is going to be as great as some people had made it seem like it would be. I mean, it certainly is an open map. And, you know, it's more like a village type map where air support, there's not many places to hide. And it generally would do pretty well. But... The problem is that everyone running Blind Eye and Assassin and those types of things, it makes it hard to identify where people are. And the trees don't do you any favors at all. When I had my Reaper gameplay, uh, there were only two people out of the six that didn't have Blind Eye where I could actually, even looking for people, could identify anybody where they were at. And obviously, as you know, when you get a kill on somebody with your air support, they respawn. The red box isn't around them right away. They have a health boost right away. So if you're only aiming at one or two people, it can be a little frustrating. And then the trees were really obstructing the, the Reaper's ability to get down and kill people. You know, it didn't make it so that it was totally ineffective. But I would compare it to more of like an interchange where there's all these obstructions and you have to have the right angle and you can kind of use the Reaper to angle things in you know, at the last second to get around some of those things. So to me, it kind of plays out more like an interchange. I think that you'd probably be better off just running the choppers. You know, I think like a, an attack helicopter and maybe an AH-6 overwatch and that Pavlo would be a good combination. Just so you don't have to worry about trying to find people. You don't have to worry about you know, taking yourself out of the game that long for just a few kills where your air support can keep people distracted and... You know, you'll still be able to run around and hopefully get some kills there. And here's another fail. I get tagged by the recon drone, and I'm hard scoping in on this guy, and I miss him and just lose where he is. He ends up running around and killing me. And that's that's one of the mistakes that I make is that sometimes I stay scoped in too long and miss some guys that I should, you know, should have. And I think I just need to get better at quick scoping in to, to use the, the scope to get a better vantage point and then to... to get out of the scope so that I can still have kind of the 180 degrees awareness in front of me. But, you know, I think that'll just come with time. And uh, here I sneak up on this guy and get the knife, and then I die. So, you know, a big, big part of this, ma this map is really keeping your situational awareness, understanding where your team is, where the common places that people hide are, and checking all those spots when you come around a corner. Because... I, I haven't noticed it being a huge problem to have people hiding in some obscure corner where I don't notice them. It seems like there are really common areas, common traffic patterns, common sniping spots. And so it's not as bad as I thought it would be. But you do need to be aware of those things. You need to identify them. And like I said, I only have a little bit of time played on this game. And so I'm really not 100% on where all those things are yet. But you'll notice, I mean, this is, like I said, one spot. I think I pointed this out earlier right next to this bridge. You'll see there's people there. And so now what I'm doing is just keeping this area scoped in so that somebody can get the tags. We called in a stealth air bomber, which took out a bunch of people. So then I decided to run up and get the tags. And then I make the mistake that I had mentioned earlier about running into this ravine. This is really high traffic, really dangerous. So unless you get lucky and get some kills, you're probably going to die. But you see here, I run into a couple people and get some pretty lucky kills. And then this guy I thought for sure was going to get me. Uh, but then my friend saved me there behind me. And so that's really about it for the gameplay. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this map. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of torn on it. I think it's nice to have some change, nice to have something different. But not something that in the long run I think I'm going to be overly enjoyed to play. I think it's going to be one of those maps when it comes up in the queue 
people are gonna just kind of moan about it and want to not play it. But it is nice to have a map where snipers can act like real snipers and not trying to run around in a close combat situation, trying to quick scope people. So um, overall, you know, I guess the jury is still out on it. We'll see if it has any longevity. Uh, my final score here was 21 and 6. Nothing spectacular, not too bad, but uh, we won, won the game, and, and it was pretty fun. So I appreciate you guys watching this. And uh, again, don't forget to you know leave some comments below on, on what your opinion is on, on these new maps. And for a couple of videos you may have missed, the one on the left talks about the latest patch update that just came out here, where they supposedly were nerfing Akimbo's fire rate by 50%, and then it talks about the new damage uh, to shotgun changes. And that was a pretty big deal in the game, so check that out. And then on the right uh, was my first sniping gameplay in Modern Warfare 3. I called it the worst sniping gameplay ever. Uh, maybe it's not that bad, but it's uh, certainly not great. But, you know, it's entertaining nonetheless, so check that out. And if you're new to my channel, I do bring Modern Warfare 3 videos every single day. So just click that subscribe button below. And other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the game.